Mononav, Mav Navigation via Monocular Depth Estimation and Reconstruction. We present Mononav, a monocular navigation stack that leverages state-of-the-art metric depth estimation networks, off-the-shelf fusion algorithms, and conventional planning techniques to enable tiny monocular robots to navigate fast in constrained indoor environments. Here we see a 37 gram micro aerial vehicle or MAV using MonoNav to navigate collision free at 0.5 meters per second in a hallway environment. All the videos of MonoNav are shown in real time, nothing is sped up. The per frame metric depth estimation enables online 3D reconstruction, giving the MAV a map for online path planning. To our knowledge, MonoNav is the first binocular navigation stack implementation with distinct mapping and planning stages evaluated in hardware. We test MonoNav in 15 different hallway environments demonstrating its effectiveness in navigation. The smallest class of unmanned aerial vehicles, micro aerial vehicles or MAVs are well suited for tasks such as inspection, exploration and mapping in constrained indoor environments due to their small size. When a robot has access to a local map, conventional path planning and trajectory optimization approaches can be used for collision-free navigation towards a goal. To generate such a map online, Robots typically use depth sensors such as laser range scanners, LiDAR sensors, or stereo depth cameras to sense the local positions of obstacles. These depth sensors are far too large to be integrated onto a MAV, which typically only has access to its pose and a front-facing RGB camera. For this problem, while all sensing is onboard, we assume that the MAV has access to an offboard computer, for example, a desktop. The prevailing approach for MAV navigation without depth sensors is to use a learned end-to-end -end model which maps an input image to a velocity command. In this video, a model trained entirely in simulation can successfully navigate indoor environments. The downside to these approaches is that a specific model may not generalize broadly to unseen environments or conditions. In addition, tweaking the objective or desired behavior may require retraining the model entirely. If the MAV had access to a map instead, the user would have more flexibility in planning and control. To that end, we present MonoNav, a navigation stack for monocular robots. We start by taking a series of RGB images and camera poses, which are readily available from the MAV. We then convert the RGB images into metric depth estimates. We then fuse the poses and the depth estimates into a 3D reconstruction that builds as the MAV moves through the scene. For planning, we use motion primitives. In principle, conventional path planning approaches such as RRT star or A star could be applied as well. We accomplish this by leveraging pre-trained transformer-based models for monocular depth estimation in combination with off-the-shelf and fusion and planning techniques. MonoNav uses Zoe Depth for per-frame depth estimation and uses Open3D's tensor-based TSDF fuser. To determine the MAV's next control input, we search over a set of motion primitives generated offline to determine a collision-free trajectory to the goal state. MonoNav operates off the following hypotheses. One, metric depth estimation and 3D reconstruction is possible with small, for example, 3.4 gram cameras and MAV odometry. And two, online map generation using depth estimation enables faster flight and more robust generalization to unseen environments. The cameras available to MAVs typically have fisheye lenses with significant barrel distortion. To enable the use of pre-trained depth estimation models without any fine tuning, we propose an image processing pipeline that minimizes domain shift through lightweight image transformations. Using the camera intrinsics of the MAVS camera and the camera used to train the depth estimation network, we can transform our input image to better match the domain of the depth estimation network. Keep in mind that the MAVS camera is tiny, inexpensive, and transmitted as an analog signal to reduce latency. This all contributes to a noisy image, which can contain artifacts such as discoloration or oversaturation. This poses a challenge for the depth estimation, and phantom obstacles can appear in the reconstruction as a result. As the MAV flies, it collects a series of RGB images which are converted into depths. These images, along with the camera's trajectory, are fused together using Open3D's TSDF integration algorithm. The reconstruction is a weighted combination of the depth images from different perspectives. The fusion pipeline helps correct the per-frame errors in depth estimation by integrating the pose and also provides a memory of previously seen positions of the environment, which is essential due to the camera's reduced field of view. Here is a reconstruction example in a hallway environment. The motion primitives are generated in a sim single offline step. We define our primitives as constant speed Dubin's car inputs, smooth turns to the left and right. At each time step, the robot has access to the latest map and chooses a motion primitive based on the following criteria. One, choose the primitive that gets you closest to the goal position while remaining at least a certain distance from the obstacle. 
Two, if no primitive satisfies the obstacle, stop threshold constraint, stop and land. We add a one meter straight line extension to each primitive to encourage foresight. In the above example, the selected primitive straight ahead is shown in green. For hardware experiments, we implement MonoNav on a crazy fly, a 37 gram MAV. Camera readings, depth estimation, and fusion occurs three to four hertz, and replanning occurs at one hertz. Each Zoe depth inference takes 0.11 to 0.16 seconds, fusion takes 0.02 seconds, and motion primitive selection takes 0.01 seconds. We evaluate MonoNav across 15 runs in 10 unique settings. Navigation continues until MonoNav self terminates or crashes up to 30 seconds or 15 meters. The hallway features are challenging, including corners, curved walls, columns, and furniture. The results of MonoNav during the 15 runs are one crash and one manual termination. All others were self terminations. Here is a corner example where MonoNav successfully navigates the corner. In another example, MonoNav navigates a long hallway straight. Now we analyze the case where MonoNav crashed. As the drone passes the curved wall on the left-hand side, the same environment as in the previous reconstruction example, the wall occludes what lies beyond. In addition, the smooth white curved wall surface is really difficult for Zoe depth to analyze. As a result, the drone turns into what it thinks is empty space. This is a fundamental challenge in monocular depth estimation, which could possibly be addressed by more cautious or slower primitives. We demonstrate MonoNav's performance in challenging indoor environments. However, we propose the following experiments to further evaluate MonoNav. One, compare MonoNav against a baseline monocular navigation approach, such as state-of-the-art end-to-end navigation. And two, compare reconstruction quality against baseline depth estimation pipelines. MonoNav uses Zoe depth, which infers depth from a single image. Other methods, such as simple recon, use a series of frames, poses, and metadata to infer depth. Such multi-view stereo approaches could improve MonoNav's reconstruction accuracy. In conclusion, MonoNav demonstrates that pre-trained depth estimation networks and off-the-shelf fusers can be combined for accurate online monocular 3D re reconstruction. And these reconstructions can be used for fast, robust, collision-free MAV navigation in constrained indoor environments. Thank you. I will now show our sources and image sources.